Well, hello there, pretty lady. How are you doing today? Are you, uh, you on your way to the ice cube factory, maybe? You need to be careful if you're going to the ice cube factory because, uh, they keep burning down. <laughs> Every ice cube factory in the whole city seems to be burning down to the ground somehow. Oh, where'd you go? Well, uh, ah, where'd you go? Do you want to come back to mine later? Maybe we can, uh, have a candlelit dinner. And, uh, when your child's gone to bed, I take it that's your kid. Uh, maybe we can head up to the bedroom or something. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Simon and Lally. My name is AJ, and we are back on an episode of City Skylines. Thoroughly enjoying this series. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate issues in this area. Uh, it is a very, very busy area, though. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we're there. Oh, oh, oh. Always takes a second. This game always takes a second after loading up. Let me get my mic straight. Hold on. There we go. Always takes a second after loading up this game for it to uh, to run smoother. So, let's hit play. It looks like we've got a little bit of problem in some areas with garbage. A lot of garbage over here. A lot of garbage down here. A lot of garbage here. A lot of garbage there. They're complaining about garbage over there. Now, I did hear that there is a mod. Whoa, our frame. I did hear that there's a bit of a problem. Oh, tax as well. Yeah, I saw that. His, um, his tax is too high. So I'm going to drop this tax down by 1% and raise this up by 3%. And that should solve that problem. Yeah, he's happy now. So I did hear a problem. There is a problem with garbage on this game. They, they seem to create more garbage than what would be realistic. Because uh, if you look on our garbage levels here, I've got one. Oh, no, that's not garbage. Hold on. No, that is garbage. I've got one, two, three garbage zones and two incinerators for a population of only 9,000 people. And yet they're still having problems. There's power problems here. Okay, I'll sort that out in a minute as well. Uh, so I think next episode I'll be downloading a mod to hopefully sort that out a little bit. We'll have a go at it uh, this episode. Um, we might add a couple of things. But I've got some power problems over here that I need to sort out first. So, what's going on? Power fluctuations by the looks. Okay, so how can we solve this problem then? We've got advanced wind turbines, but they don't produce a lot of energy. You know what I think I'm going to do? We've got this coal, no, this oil one over here. This oil one produces 96 megawatts for 1,700 a week. When a coal one, let's go over to a coal one. Oh, come on. Stop messing about. A coal one is 500 a week, but is only 32 megawatts. So these two together are 64 megawatt. I think we can remove these two. Let's pause it so they don't get too upset. We'll take those two out and we'll put another oil one down here because I have found out that they do actually, there we go, uh, they will actually import more oil. Oil stored for nine weeks. And in the coal ones, we've got a coal one here. It says coal stored for 18 weeks, and we don't have a source of coal in our city, so they're obviously importing it in. Oh, you're not, you're not panicking. Water? What's up with the water? Sewage? What's up with... I think it's just because of the, uh, the power plant that we put in. I think. It should all sort itself out in a minute. Man, it's flashing through everything. Yeah. No, I think it sorted itself out. So water is becoming a problem. And according to our budget here, uh, water is already getting pretty high. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're actually going to put down another water pipe. If I can get it in nicely. Oh, yeah, right there. Look at that one. And then this one. Oh, it's going on the tilt. Okay, right there. That's as close as I could get. You can see the pollution in the water now. We're actually polluting up our river. And if we go on to City Vitals into Pollution, we can actually see a dark brown area that's flowing out down into the ocean. If we expanded our land out this way, we'll have to remember that because we couldn't put any water on this side of the beach. Any clean water, at least on this side of the island, because obviously we're going to be sucking up pooey water. But on this side, we should be fine. So that's something to keep an eye on. Okay, so now we've got that. We should be able to drop down the water budget. Water availability. Oh, you're not hooked up? Oh, you should be. Oh, man, you're so close. You should just be hooked up. 
Why are you not hooked up? You're like on top of each other. Uh, can I move it then? Move it to like there. Now you've joined up. Not operating. Oh, now it is. Is it? Yeah, 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 now it is. Okay, so water availability has gone through the roof. That means we can now drop down our water budget. Keep an eye on this. Yeah, I'm going to keep it about there. That saved us a little bit of money in the long term, I think. Commercial demand is fairly high. Maybe we should sort that out first. There's garbage at the creeper. Uh, where is our commercial then? So, I think we need commercial around here. Yeah, I'm going to extend this road plan out around this area. So let's um, let's join that up. I'm going to join that up straight down to there. And then we're going to do like a miniature. Let's get this straight. Like another residential area. But we'll also mix some commercial in there as well, I think. If we do that, join that up like that. And then down here, join that up to there. That's so ugly. Oh, well. <laughs> At least that'll break up a little bit of the noise, maybe. That that might be okay. We might be good. Okay, so we got high residential now as well. I'm actually going to keep it low residential around this area uh, because of the farms that we've got nearby. So let's get some commercial. And I'm going to put commercial down here. Uh, high density commercial. Some big shops. Hopefully that will drop down that quite quickly then. And that should solve that problem. Let's speed up time. Let's see if they actually move in. Come on. Move in. Or oh, maybe it should have been low density. Let's try some low density on the other side. Oh no, they're going. They're going. It just took a couple of seconds. Okay, so that should balance everything out here. How are our districts doing? We need to sort out our districts. I'm going to extend this one. Like that. Looking pretty good everywhere else. Okay, I think we want to add more residents. I would really like to hit 10,000 today. I think it's easily possible. So I'm going to add two more high density uh, residents. Oh, and they're filling up so quickly. That's exactly what they wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're obviously happy because they're moving in straight away. That's good. I did un download another mod though. This mod, uh, I click this. And now I can click on a car. If I stop time, I can click on a moving car. That's a road. I want to click on a car. Yeah, click on that car. There we go. And it tells us where he's come from and where he's going to. So although it says here, the Willow residence and his works at MH Clothing, we can actually see where he's come from. So he's come into the city and he's heading down this road all the way down here, all the way up here, and we'll eventually get to here, which is the Willow residence where he lives. So he's just moving in then maybe. He could be just moving in. We can also, using this magnifying glass, click on a road. And it'll tell us where all of the cars on that road are going. And what is on the road. So there's 79 pedestrians and 4 cars on that little bit of road that we clicked. Moving cars, not parked cars, that is. Uh, what about here? 3 residents, 35 cars, 3 cargo trucks and 1 oil tanker. Oh, wow. Two pedestrians, 30 cars, 52 cargo trucks, 20 oil tankers, 12 ore trucks, 12 log trucks, 16 tractors, 14 garbage trucks, and a police car. Crazy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we need some water over here. That's pretty cool that uh, we can see that. I like that mod. It was uh, one of the mods that had been asked for the most out of all of them. Garbage still a problem over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, you guys said education's a problem. Education. Yeah, elementary school. Wow, we really neglected this. Elementary school is like way down and high school is pretty down as well. We've got one high school and we've got one um, elementary school. I'm going to place another elementary school and another high school over here. It just makes sense. So let's put down, this is a high school and an elementary school we'll put down there. That should solve some of the problem. Or well, makes him very happy as well. So now high school availability is great. They've got enough high schools. Elementary school is pretty close. But we're, we're starting to not become interested in uneducated people. Okay, that's not going to really be too much of a problem. 
I want to put a university in because let's slow down time because uh, Industry is very dirty as you can see all of the trees that we planted down here have died We've got three trees left because the pollution is killing them. It's even changing the ground to a horrible purpley disgusting color we can get rid of industry and replace it with offices, which we unlocked recently, which are these ones. Office areas offers workplaces for educated citizens. Make sure you have a university in the, citizen, in the city to provide suitable workers. Now, we don't have a university yet, so we can't place down offices. But offices and industry, from what I can understand, are the same thing. Uh, just offices are cleaner. So I think we want to place down a university in our city. Let the people get educated. And then once they're educated, maybe next episode we can start putting down some offices. We've got two options for universities. We've got this university, which is the default game university. Which, it looks quite cool. It looks very modern. But I also downloaded this one, which you can't see an image of at the minute. An old university. It costs the same. And it has the same upkeep. They both cause no pollution in either dirt, uh, ground or noise. And they both take the same power and everything. They're exactly the same. They just look different. And I want to use the old one. But we need a road for it to go on. So let's sort that out. Off this roundabout, we could join this up really nicely to this high residential area. So let's grab... Uh, is it that road that we want? And I'm going to just go straight in right up to that corner. So join it straight up to there. Is that traffic lights? Is there going to be traffic lights on there? Oh, let me zoom in. There is traffic lights on there. But I can't see that being too much of a problem. We'll, we'll find out later, I suppose. Okay. So now we can put a university down here. Seeing as though the, it, it's got direct traffic from this and from here. It's a pretty central place. Uh, it is the wrong road that we used, though. So let's uh, change that. It's that one we wanted. So we'll upgrade that. There we go. Now it all looks the same. Wonderful. So they've got a straight shot in there. Let's put the university down. This old university. I'm going to put it um, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right there. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's go down on the ground. Uh, shift. Yeah, okay, we need power and electric. I'll sort that out in a minute. I'll pause time for the moment. It looks a little bit like my high school. My old high school that I used to go to five or six years ago. <laughs> uh, it's seven years ago. Six years ago? Something like that. I like that. That's really, really cool. So what else is in the middle of it? So there's like a little courtyard in the middle. Oh, two little courtyards. I like that. That looks really, really cool. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's get some power and water to it. Water's the easiest. So we'll sort that out first. We'll just have water going from there. Boom to there. We'll even join up to there for no reason whatsoever. And then power. Uh, we might as well just go from here to uh, space already occupied. Really? Alright, we'll go from here then. Oops. From there to there. Down the road. That's pretty neat then. And then that should have power and electric now once it sort of knows it's got it. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. So this is going to start educating our citizens. Once they're up to a nicely, or once we've got a decent percentage of highly educated people, we can then start putting down some offices and slowly, hopefully, remove this dirty industry. What's happened over here? Uh, abandoned. Garments Limited is abandoned. Whoops. Okay, let's delete that. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And, wow, we've got, like, hardly any money. We need to really get our money sorted. How close are we? Oh, we're pretty close. I think we need 11,000 citizens to hit the next milestone. Let's try and hit that this episode. Let's go crazy on residents. Residential places. Uh, high density in this area. Like so. Uh, a little bit of low resident here. Oh, that no, wasn't low residents. Pause, pause. D zone. Okay, there we go. Low residence here. The reason why I'm putting in low, de low residence here uh, is just because this area still requires low density residential. We can always upgrade it eventually, but for the moment, I'm quite happy with that. And you know what? I think we're also going to join this road up to this side of the roundabout. That would make sense. 
We should also have a road coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's think about some road layouts now. Uh, this is the road that we want, isn't it? I think so. And then we're going to go from here. Um, maybe go in a little bit first. Uh, no, we'll go this way. Come out to there. Curved road. Out to and then into to keep it nice and even. And then we'll go with a straight line and join it up to there where possible. Let's delete that. No! No, 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 no. Oh, I've got to start again now. Um, two by two. And then a straight road to there. And then we'll just join it up like that. Okay, so now our traffic problems are going to be pretty well, uh, are going to be pretty good around the center uh, of our city here. Which we're slowly sort of building towards. In fact, this part would probably be a good place to start upgrading uh, with more residents. Even though our residence is really low, I think I still want to push for more residents. And I said I wanted a road going into there as well, didn't I? Let's just um, do that for the minute. Has that put traffic lights on there? It has. Okay, no, we don't want traffic lights. Remove that. One way road coming off here. Um... I'm going to do it this way and then switch the direction. Like that. And then... Well, no, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just to keep... It's to keep... Um, hmm. Maybe we could come down like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's to keep no traffic lights. We don't like traffic lights in this world. Uh, they cause a lot of problems. So, I think we'll do that. And then, oops, and then flip the direction. Like that. Yeah. So, they come in to the residential area and they come out. That works out well. And then we have no traffic lights uh, in this area. We only have, oh, we've got traffic lights here? Why do we have traffic lights there? Oh, yeah, we would have, wouldn't we? Um... Remove that then. And they can come out that way. It's busy. For the moment, that'll do. For the moment, that yeah, that'll be great. I want to concentrate on this side of the world a little bit more for the minute. So, let's, um, yeah, let's go down here. And, oh, that joins up nicely. And then come up here, try and get it in line. Try and use our space efficiently in this area. Uh, we don't want to go onto that road, though. So we'll go up to there. Down here. Uh, and then join it back up again. Like this. And then down there. Oops, I nearly hit... I nearly hit it for that. Oh, yeah, and that can join up nicely to there. Wonderful. That's filled up that space pretty well. There's not really much wasted space like that. So high density goes in here. Uh, screw it. We'll put loads down. I know that's more than what we need. And let's start thinking about some more commercial in the area. Maybe have some commercial around the university. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. If we had a one-way road that comes in off this. And then we come down and we join it up onto this road. Yeah, we still have no traffic lights. And then we can put commercial, high density commercial, down this side. Yeah. And then we've got some commercial there as well. Wonderful. Now this is going to take them a while to move in because the, the demand for it is fairly low. But hopefully that commercial should get taken over quite quickly. Let's speed up time and let's keep a close eye on it. On this area. Any more troubles? Garbage seems to have sorted itself out for the moment at least. I don't trust it completely yet though. Are we going to hit 11,000 by the end of the episode? I want to. Yeah, we should. We should. We're going to hit it. Definitely. They're all moving in. Yeah, I hear a lot of upgrade sounds as well. Everyone's dying over here apparently. That logo means... Oops. That logo means someone's died. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. What is eight, nine, ten? Whoa. 
Everyone's dying over here. Hmm. Oh, we done it. Anyway, um, yeah, everyone's dying. We'll have to look into that. Level 6 unique buildings unlocked and trains have unlocked. Uh, we don't have a train line coming into our city at the moment, so that's not going to be that handy for us. Uh, I think we'll be able to buy a piece of land near us that has a railway that we can then extend off. But for the moment, we can't use that. Small business enthusiast, big business enthusiast, I don't know what they are. Industrial space planning, I don't know what that is. High tech housing, we'll find out what that is. High rise ban, I know that stops people from building skyscrapers. I don't want that, I want some skyscrapers. And then we've unlocked the train station, the cargo train terminal, which are no use to us either at the moment. And the hydro power plant. Ooh, ooh, we'll have to have a look into that. I want to have a look into these policies first, though. Let's just pause time for the... Oh, let's keep the time going. It'll be fine. Uh, so, city planning. Small business enthusiast. Perks for small businesses. Low density commercial doubles their sales. And the upkeep is only two cents per building? Well, that makes sense everywhere. Yeah, we'll do that everywhere. Biz, biz, big business benefactor. That's a mouthful. Perks for large businesses. High density commercial buildings double their sales and the upkeep is four cents per building. You know, that we, we must make money from that. Yeah, we must. Industrial space planning. Allow industries to work even more effectively by overlooking a few safety laws. Hmm. It doubles the amount of goods produced by industry buildings. And the upkeep of seven cents per industrial, but I don't want them to be cutting safety corners. High tech houses turn homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. Slightly increases land value and the upkeep of four cents. Uh, okay, so we're not going to make money from high tech homes, but it does raise land value. What is our land value in the area? Let's close that down. Let's have a look at our land value. Our land value is pretty high around here, but I reckon we could. Increase it even higher. People are dying over here as well. And you have no water. 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 Wonderful. Um, okay, and water availability is getting low as well. So many things you need to keep an eye on on, on this game. It's crazy. What's our power like as well? Power's done okay-ish. Okay. We're good. Uh, so, yeah, for this home one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into districts. I'm going to open up the policies... I'm going to click this district, which is low residential, and I'm going to do high-tech housing, and then I'm going to click, oops, and then I'm going to do it again for this high, for this high residential one, click high-tech housing here. So now, all of the other houses in the surrounding area will be f normal, but this area of low residence and this area of high residence will be high-tech homes. I just want to see what they look like. Okay, they are all upgrading. Let's speed up time. Whoops. And let's see what they look like. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. So they're, they're not these sort of old cottage-like homes. They're more streamlined. More modern. Oh, that one's a cool glass one. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really like it. Look at that one. Oh, that's my favorite one. Definitely. Tab. Go on the ground. Oh, yeah. That looks so cool. They're all they're upgrading everywhere. Solar panels. Solar panels. Okay. All right. Very, very interesting. And we're making so much money an hour. It's ridiculous. 12,000. Are any of these ones upgrading? It doesn't seem to be yet over here. That doesn't matter too much. These ones are, though. They upgraded like crazy. What was our, ta what was our like land value here now? Oh, wow. No, they are upgrading. Oh, they're upgrading like crazy. Look at our land value. That is so expensive over this area now. That's really, really cool. High land value. Awesome. Let's slow down time. We're making an, a ridiculous amount an hour. Everybody's dying over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can count 16 people that have died over here. Um... Dead people. Crematorium. How many... How many... We haven't got the crematorium yet. We need 16,000 people for that. Ah, but we've only got one of these things. So, one cemetery. Maybe we should put a cemetery over here then. And that will help. Yeah, let's put one right there. 
It's always nice. To me, I always like it when I come into a city and see a church. It's just a nice, it's a nice thing to see. Power. You need power? You've got power. Have you got water? Yeah, you've got water. You've got everything you need. Stop complaining. Well, that'll give us more hearses to pick up all these dead people. <laughs> okay. Uh, commercial and industry is through the roof. Uh, but we are basically out of time for this episode. Let's see if we can put down a little bit more uh, commercial in some spots. Uh, like around this mall area that we have. We could do that. Like a little bit like that. That's pretty cool. And then industry, I can't really do it very easily without adding more stuff. I mean, I could do it here. But, yeah, I could do it there. Let's do it there. There you go. Why not? Why not, I say. All right, guys. Well, we are definitely going to leave it there for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode where I've got some really cool things lined up for next episode. Unique buildings will be going down. All right, guys. Bye.